everybody? It's Jamie, and today I wanted to show you how you can assign uh, assessments on Prodigy for your students that are very easily to look at the data. Also, you can assign state test prep, um, and there's some new ELA stuff that Prodigy is offering as well. So it's not just a game where kids are playing. So let me show you what I mean. So first things first, I just search Prodigy game. I click login, and I'm going to log in on my teacher account. It's a login through Google. Um, mine automatically went to my dashboard, which is fine. Um, so what you're going to do is if you want them to, to work on specific skills of something that maybe you're working on, that's all aligned with next generation standards, you just click on assessments. Okay. Um, and what you do is you're going to hit the create button up here. I, this is to prepare for the state test. So I'll show you how we do that. So if you want to prepare for the state test, you can do that. Or you can just do on a set of skills. Let's. I'm going to do a set of skills. I like to do that. Um, so let's say I'm teaching, I don't know, sixth grade. And we're looking at the standards for that grade. And I want to do some addition. So what you do, it shows addition properties. And it shows the type of questions that they'll be getting uh, when you make the assignment. So let's say I wanted to do the, the addition properties. I click on that. I hit next. I hit how many questions I want. I wanted them to do at least 15. It shouldn't take that long. And you can do multiple assignments. You can do addition properties. You can add decimals in there. You can do whatever you want. But when the kids are playing, they'll be doing the assignments that are based on the standards that you want them to practice. So I click next. Here's my students. The other cool thing is, you know, if I didn't want, well, I got like three Amiras in here, but if I didn't want Brianna doing this or I didn't want Connor doing this, I would just click their names off. And it would differentiate. So some some students in my classes, I'd have them doing things that were almost at fourth grade level when I was teaching third grade. Some kids were doing things in second grade level to work on the things they need. So when I click on next, it asks for a date range. So I'll, today's the third. I'll click on here, and I usually give them some time. So I because you can do multiple assignments. As you see, I have other assignments on here. And also, I want to share with you that if you don't put any assignments in, they do placement tests. It's adaptive, so it works on the things that they need to work on. But if I hit create, my assignment's in there. This is a little thing to invite parents if you want to. And my assignment's right here, assignment number 38. It's going to go for about three weeks here um, until they complete it and get through the skills. The other thing I wanted to share with you or show is how you assign a state test practice, okay? Right here, prepare the students for the New York State test. So you hit continue. So again, you can do any level to eighth grade. Well, you can't do second and first because they don't have them. But let's say I want to do the sixth grade test. I click next. Start where I want to start them. I usually give them a little time because it's 100 minutes of practice. But I usually do it during you know, morning work, stuff like that. So I hit create. It will tell me hey, it's, it's about five minutes a day. You got 100 minutes. Okay. I got it. So now I got all these assignments in here and I just want them to practice the state test. I'm going to go to that last assignment I assigned, click on it, and I'm just going to delete it because I really just want them prepping for the state test now. And I have two of them in here. I'm going to delete this one. So I only have them prepping once. Okay. So that's kind of like your assignment calendar. The other thing I wanted to show you, and I know this video got a little long, but the English, um, these are all standards aligned assignments as well they don't have any state test practice but they do have through grade six if you wanted to do grade four standards knowledge of language it's the same way as the math you can look at the questions beforehand okay yeah, i want to assign them that you assign that as well and they go under ela for that so again prodigy is very engaging it's not just a game you can assign whatever you want that's all standards based and you can do state test practice if you have any questions or concerns please let me know or reach out